Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will discuss best practices for AI for cyber security. Well, using AI to support security operation takes careful planning and implementation, but with the right approach. As a team, as an admin, as a leader, or as a strategic planner for a team, you can introduce tools that make meaningful improvements in operational effectiveness and your team's well-being. Okay. So when you talk about built security in, you have to develop a strategy. You have to start early. You have to incorporate security consideration from the beginning of AI system development. You have to identify potential risk and vulnerabilities specific to AI components. As a part of threat modeling, you have to follow secure coding practices to prevent common vulnerabilities for secure coding. And to do all this, you have to develop a strategy. There are numerous AI products and solutions for use in security, but not all of them will be right for your team, for your organization or for your requirements. It's important that your AI solutions integrate well with each other and your security architecture, or they may end up creating more work for your team. Data security and privacy. You have to ensure sensitive data used to train AI models is securely stored and anonymized. You have to comply with all the regulations, adhere to data protection laws, example GDPR to safeguard user information. And you have to integrate your security tools because AI for security is most effective when it's able to analyze data across the entire organization. This is challenging if your tools operate in silos. Invest in tools that work with your current environment and work together seamlessly such as integrated XTR and SIM solutions. When it comes to identity and access management, limit access to AI systems based on roles and responsibilities. and implement MFA for system access. When it comes to vulnerability management, continuously scan AI systems for vulnerabilities, prompt, promptly apply security patches to address known issues. So patch management and regular scans. You have to work closely with cybersecurity, legal data science and executive leadership so that AI team can collaborate across other teams as well and this will also lead to use of AI usage of AI ethically so now a lot of data that's accumulated over the years in is inaccurate or biased or outdated so on top of that AI algorithms and logic are not always transparent making it difficult to know exactly how it generates insights and results it's important to ensure that AI is not the final decision maker in instances where it may treat certain individuals unfairly because of the bias in the data it's using. And when it comes to incident response and uh, recovery, you have to develop an incident response plan specific to AI incidents and you have to regularly test your response procedures. Right? And you have to maintain the quality. Now, if AI will deliver poor insights and make bad decisions, now we have to take care of this in planning phase as well. Make sure we have all the processes in place to clean up the incidents or the, uh, the stale data or protect privacy and then do recover. So, conclusion of this is that AI in cybersecurity is a powerful AI, but only when we follow best practices. We have to secure our digital future together. It's not the responsibility of the vendor who is uh, creating a tool or a platform over AI to make our lives easier as uh, security professional but it's our responsibility as well to develop a strategy to integrate our security tools to manage data privacy and quality to continuously test our ai systems 
to use AI ethically and to define policies for using a generative AI. Okay, I hope this video was beneficial for all of you. If you have any other points that you would like to add on to what I mentioned, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.